Hi, this is this is Oliver Blair uh, from Massey University in Wellington, and um, we're going to go through uh, VectorWorks uh, document setup uh, in relation to the studio project that you're doing on um, state houses. Um, so I've got the plan here that we're going to be using, <coughs> the PDF. So I'm using the one four five six model. And we'll sort of just go through quickly how to how to draw the plan for that. Because um, we're doing vector works, first of all, I wanted to say that Ant has made heaps of um, tutorials for vector works. They go into detail how to do heaps of stuff. So um, I'm not going to repeat all of the stuff, but um, yeah, I'm just going to sort of briefly summarise sort of what's relevant for your studio projects, but. There's all the stuff here as well available for you to sort of go through, and it's just on the on the blog under tutorials and then VectorWorks there. Um, so cool, let's open up VectorWorks and uh, we'll get into the page setup. Cool, so here's VectorWorks opened up, and it's just the default sort of project. Um, this is how I've got it set up. So I've got I've got all the tools over here on the side, and all the tool sets down here. And I've got the object info snapped into the window here, and then the resource browser, which will come in later on, um, over here. Uh, so I'll just set it on the project that we're running. Um, so probably the first thing you want to do is set up the page. So um, it's just under the file menu, and then go to page setup. And what I've figured out is you should go to the printer setup first and then set that to um, the follow me printer and uh, put it on A3 landscape and then we'll go OK and then up here in printable area <coughs> make sure this is checked and just put it on one printer page and then make sure this is on one the pages because otherwise it'll, it'll sort of have a little border and it will actually print out four pages even though you just want to do one, so just make sure that's set to one uh, okay and then you sort of you should probably double check that, that under document settings and then document setup that all the units are in millimeters and this, yeah, so that's all good that's all set up, cool uh, cool and then the next thing we want to do is start loading up the stories. So to do that, you go into um, the organization panel, and you can get to that through the classes button up here, or through the layers button as well. But we'll just click on classes, and it'll load up the organization pane. There we go. And then what we want to do is go onto the stories tab, and open up and create a new story. So I'll just leave that, leave that. So for our, our one, our plan, it's just a single story, but it's got these foundations as well, and it's also got a roof and a sort of attic space. So we sort of want three layers. Um, so what you do is just sort of click edit, and I'll probably get rid of the slab and then probably get rid of the ceiling and then yeah and then we can get into it so the floor I'll start at zero so that's not right so when I go zero and then how, how high is it so we need to reference the plan again so this is eight feet two inches so in VectorWorks you can just type that in that's eight and then a single quote for feet and then dash two and then double quote for inches. So it should sort of look like that. And the having the dash in there is quite important as well. Uh, I think. Or is it not? No. There we go. Two four eight nine. So cool. And then we wanna have the roof starting at 2489 or 8 feet 2 inches 
and then we'll just leave that on zero for now because um, it probably doesn't matter and then we'll have the foundation should probably be starting uh, below two feet and two inches below the, uh, the floor so that's going to be negative two feet two inches and then the height will be two feet two inches if that makes sense uh, so yeah click OK and then OK there and then sweep I'll check them all so they're all on because um, that's going to create all the, the design layers for those stories and we'll go OK and then it has this little diagram here explaining it so sweet so the foundation starts and then the floor is going to start there and then the roof is going to start above great cool and so what that's done setting up the stories like that is that it automatically generates these um, design layers so now we can put all the sort of floor and all the walls and windows and things on floor and all the foundation stuff on foundation and all the roof on roof um, cool what's next okay bubble grid so what do I mean by bubble grid sort of um, if I zoom in a bit just to this plan so what we'll do is we'll set up a grid that sort of follows these lines and then whenever we want to sort of draw a wall or anything we have some some structure to sort of go off so the first one I'll do is 41 feet 6 inches right so let's go back to Vectorworks and the bubble grid is under um, dimensions and notes over here and it's under grid bubble so if you just click on that and then um, make sure you're on the the floor layer uh, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll just click you click once and then sort of go across horizontally and then you can go tab and then put in 41 feet uh, 6 inches and go enter and then make sure it's on the horizontal again and then what you want to do is just double click and then that'll set it and we can say yeah something like that will be all good and then there we go that's our 41 feet uh, grid and you can sort of move that around as well so if you just click it and drag it there we go make sure it's sort of set up nicely on the page um, and then we want some more grids right so we want another one that's uh, 29 feet and 11 inches so we'll go grid bubble again and what we'll do is we'll just go we'll start it over here somewhere and then same thing again but vertically so what was it 29 feet 11 inches and then just double click on the vertical cool and uh, with the select tool you can just sort of select it and then drag this blue guy out here so they're sort of intersecting on the page so now we have that sort of giant uh, rectangle which all will um, everything else will fit sort of inside we can get these other dimensions off it so what I'd recommend is like putting in all the um, all the next set of um, grids as well uh, so that's 26 feet and 3 inches going from from that very same line up to here but then see some of them have little gaps as well so make sure they're all set up properly too because that'll um, that'll be 
really help when you're drawing all the walls and things. So yeah, I'd recommend setting that up. Cool.